We're in Washington now, as you might be able to tell from the beautiful tall trees behind me and the rain coming down. We're gonna be here for the summertime and we're super excited about it. But we got this new white duck tent and we're about to go camping tomorrow. So we ended up driving all the way up here from Texas just so that we could take the tent with us because it's pretty big. And we're gonna head out there tomorrow with my brother and his family and we're really excited. So let's head straight to that. We made it. Barely. We found the campsite. We barely made it. <laughs> we have five kids in the car right now. Our four, our nephew. We are gonna get our tent set up. We are here camping for the next week and it's gonna be great. Let's get going. Okay, so let's set our chairs up over here. We yeah. do. So we, ha we got used to having a lot of storage when we were in the RV. Not so much in this car, so we had to get this massive bag to put on top of our car. And it's definitely served its purpose, and it hasn't broken yet, so money well spent. Look how much I shoes. No, honey, we're not even close to being able to do that. Here, guys, for the picnic table. Got it? <laughs> oh, these are the poles to our tent. Look how big they are. That's how usually how big the tent is. I know. That's just the pole. How is he gonna get that down by himself? Got it up by myself. Hudson, look how heavy that is. All right. This thing is a beast. This is a good spot right here. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead. Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed. Oh my gosh. How, how many kids does it take to set up this tent? We'll find One. out. One Hudson and 55 Hudson. Step on it, okay? We booked this spot because we have, it was the only place available to spots right next to each other, but there's also a lot of shade and tomorrow's supposed to be 89 degrees, so key. So we have a nice shaded spot and we're thrilled about it. You're Texan, you don't need shade. You I am, I do. I'm Washingtonian at heart. You don't deserve shade. I'm a Texas transplant. We're Texas, so we appreciate shade. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. That moves for you. Pack our bags and get Almost in there. that car. Three more good hits. One, two, three. Good job. You did it. My hand took is a little sore from the last perspective. <laughs> You can hold it. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your Of all the tents that we've ever had, this is the first tent that I've ever had that I can stand up all the way. I can even put my arms up above me inside the tent. So that was a that was a big bonus for us when we got this thing. Tall family problems. Absolutely. Look how tall that thing is. We're Dutch. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, it's huge in here! I know! <laughs> Welcome in! <laughs> we told you! It's so tall! We told you! you want to see awesome. it it's so tall! I love it! Okay, next is the door post. So it's just an A-frame that's gonna hold the door up. There you go. Come on! Kick it! I love this tent! This is so cool! So what's great about this tent as well is there's only two poles. It, literally just the one in the middle and the one over the door and that's it. Other, other than that, it's all just uh, putting stakes around the outside. So very simple. The kids have gotten in the lake across the road and we're just finishing setting up this campsite. 
It took about 15 minutes with the kids' help, and this is our only our second time setting it up, so it's really a quick process. Super easy. If we can do it, literally anyone can do it. It takes more time to set up our travel trailer than it takes to set up. Oh yeah. This by far. Here are all the details. They'll be right here on the screen. I will tell you what kind we have. I'm really excited. We're gonna get the bed set up, head down to the beach. They already got wet, and now they're just cold and waiting for the sand. A lot of people might not camp with dresses, but I do. <laughs> they're gonna hang right there. I am in love with this tent by White Duck. It is the Avalon tent. We chose this tent specifically from leaving RV life to coming into tent life because of how spacious it is. As you can see, we have like a full bed here. Miller, Lawson, Autumn, Wesley, and we still have all this floor space. Just so much space, and that's what we need coming from the RV life, jumping right into tent. Actually, our only our two oldest have ever been tent camping outside of our backyard, so this is a first time experience for them. We chose this tent because of the premium canvas quality. We knew if we were gonna invest in a tent, we wanted it to be the tent we had for years and years and years to come. And we wanted it to be good for the hot weather, the cold weather. And I love this one specifically because we are from Washington State, we love it here, but we can't always afford hotels and Airbnbs. And we like to be outside. We don't like to be like crowded in. So this one already has a smokestack vent already built in to the tent. You could put like a little stove in here. How cool is that if you're up in the mountains or if you're in the snow? I looked this thing up online and a lot of people actually do have it in the snow, like a glamping tent in their backyard or whatnot. It's so, so cool. I love this, all the possibilities. I can see Autumn glamping in it with her friends when she gets older, when she like wants to be cool and outside of her house. Another reason I really like this is as you can see, the walls zip up. Right now I just have every other window, but it just brings in fresh air so easily. And one of the main things I was looking for in a tent is that it zips all the way around so no scorpions can get in here. So it is completely sealed from the ground. And what's extra cool is that this ground cover is actually separate from the top. So if this gets punctured or worn, well, it doesn't matter with this variety, which is unlike a lot of other varieties because you can replace the bottom piece without replacing the canvas, which was a huge win for us because the less we can toss, the, le the more that's gonna last longer is what I'm looking for. Durability, that's the word. I am 5'10", and I can just reach the hook right here that I'm hanging my dresses on. This is unheard of in a tent. The fact that I can't even reach the ceiling, it's crazy. I feel like this has been such a good investment from an RV. We're just finding with RV life, we are constantly fixing things, constantly replacing, and it was just becoming more of a hassle than it was a joy in our life. So we were like, let's tent. Simpler, less moving pieces. Literally, this thing comes in one piece, and it has two poles. Could not get any simpler, and it comes with all of the tools. So if you're looking to get that outdoor life, but you're not ready to take the big financial plunge of an RV, and you're looking to simplify, I would highly recommend White Duck, and we have the Avalon. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments, or message me over on Instagram. And I also have 10% off for you. It is good through the end of August, and it is fulfillment 10 for the code. I'll put it right here on the screen, but all the details will be in the description below. The kids are going crazy. We have to get going. I'll share with you how the sleeping goes tonight, how we sleep in the morning, but come camping with us. Every night, I want a lot of spark in the dark. I don't want to say I'm okay, living the same every day. Come run beside me, let's take off. Let's leave this place for another place. Oh. All we need is 
There's nothing better than the smell of bacon in, when you're camping. And loud generators. Bacon. <laughs> the sound of crackling bacon and generators in the background. It's the best. Yeah. I'm going first. Okay, so my brother and sister-in-law showed up last night and they set up their tent. We set up this one. We slept in it last night. We actually stayed so warm, which was surprising because Ben and I only had one comforter to go on top of us and it got down to like 40 last night and we were cozy in there. I don't know we if that's like a trait of it that it's supposed to keep you warmer, but we really did stay quite warm. Absolutely. And the kids did wake up. Let me put on my socks and poos. You want to take on, you to put on your socks and poos? Get some, sure, buddy. Your shoes? I will say though, this thing, is, this thing has gained a lot of attention. Everybody can, that- Can somebody put on my Crocs and Bruce? Yeah. Yes, go sit down and I'll come over there. Everybody in the campsite that's walking past is like slowing down and pointing and talking about this tent because it's obviously very unique. Yeah, and everyone's like, well, it was just funny because like in RV life that happens a lot, but, and I didn't realize it was like a tent thing too, but I don't think it's a regular tent thing. I'm being eaten by mosquitoes right now. <laughs> It's like a this tent thing because yeah. it is so cool and it's so like look at the difference between this tent and this tent It's a big old difference. We're loving it And the si fact that the sides zip up and everything it's been so nice I'm, I was a little bit nervous about leaving RV life, but I'm feeling really good about it now. I am covered in mosquitoes Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough so We are leaving camping this morning. We've had a lot of late nights. The kids are tired. Look at little Lawson's face. Last night was windy. The night before was rainy and that was fine. Last night was windy and we were so warm and cozy in that tent. We were totally fine. How did you sleep last night? Very bad. You had bad dreams, didn't you? Ugh. But the morning before that, he woke up laughing, so his dreams are all over the place right now. We got the tent emptied out. We are going to get this thing set up back in Bellingham with, by my sister and brother-in-laws so we can mop out the floor. I'm just gonna spin mop it like I do my floors. And then we are going to hose it off. They got like some bird poop and stuff on it, but I just wanna make sure that we put it away like if it's gonna be put away for an extended amount of time, I wanna put it away really well, just to keep it nice. But one of the main instructions said that don't put it away when it's wet. And so it's, we waited till the sun came out and dried it up. It is mold resistant, but we just wanna be extra careful.